Well, the famed Blue Ridge Parkway is closed forever, or at least until further notice. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Bucket list ride of mine, and has been for a little while, is the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I was up that way about a month or two ago and just didn't have the opportunity to ride the Blue Ridge. Really wanted to, thought about it, but it was gonna add a lot more time to my trip, and I ended up taking the cage. I know, I know, shouldn't have done that. But I ended up taking the cage instead and couldn't, I didn't want to drive the Blue Ridge without being on the motorcycle. So fast forward to today, if you've been living under a rock or perhaps just crawling out from under it, Hurricane Helene has hit and has torn a path of devastation all the way from the Florida and Georgia Gulf Coast region all the way through Georgia where Helene stalled and essentially sat as a area of low pressure and a rain, tropical rainstorm really, uh, for several days um, as it just sat and dumped rain. And that led to catastrophic flooding in the North Georgia and uh, South Carolina, North Carolina area, and really did a number. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on social media now about everything that's going on, the rescue efforts, stuff like that. Um, kind of as an aside, Y'all, y'all be praying for these folks over there in uh, all these areas in North Carolina and uh, North Georgia and areas where a lot of people like to go motorcycle riding. There's some great scenic rides in the Appalachian Mountains and y'all be keeping these people in your prayers. And I would go one step further and say, once they've got everything figured out, because it's a mess up there right now, and unless you're actively providing disaster relief in that area, you shouldn't be up there. But I would say that once everything opens back up, we need to patronize those folks. Go up there, ride, do what you gotta do, spend some money up there, and help some of these folks, some of their businesses that rely on tourism. Um, you know, they lost a lot. So anything we can do to help those communities, we should be doing. But getting back to the Blue Ridge Parkway. As of today, October 5th, 2024, the Blue Ridge Parkway is still closed the entire length of the parkway. The entire length of the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina and Virginia is closed as crews continue their assessment of the damage from Hurricane Helene. Blue Ridge Parkway staff and NPS employees from 32 states and the District of Columbia are working in the recovery effort. Based on what the teams have seen so far, Damage is significant, in some cases catastrophic, all along the partway, particularly from milepost 280 to milepost 469. Assessment teams will determine the extent of damage, which will include a timeline and cost estimate for repairs. A projected reopening date of any section of the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina has not been established. Assessment crews are finishing their work in Virginia. So a lot of damage, uh, specifically at Gooch Gap. There's a, a photo that was shared by National Park Service. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. They're gonna have to look at this. It's gonna cost a ton of money. And of course, with any government project, they're gonna need to take a while to bid it out and things like that. So I would say that there's no way that the Blue Ridge Parkway is gonna be reopened for 2024 and probably not the whole length by 2025. Uh, from everything, all the reports that are on this subject, the damage was quite, quite extensive. So it's gonna take a while to repair all that stuff. They're basically saying that there's so much damage to the parkway, they have no expected date when the parkway is to reopen again. So basically this thing is shuttered for a while. I don't think the parkway is gonna be closed forever. It sounds like they're trying to get the thing back open again. They're kind of doing damage assessments, trying to figure out where things are. And if you've ridden the Blue Ridge Parkway, you know that parts of the parkway are always under construction no matter when you go. There'll be, you know, if one part's not under construction or repair, there'll be repairs in another part. So, you know, this is not new. Repairing the parkway is not new to the National Park Service, but, um, having the whole thing closed, you know, I'm, I'm sure is a bummer. But I guess I say all that to say that I would expect it to be reopened at some point, 
Probably not for the rest of the 2024 riding season though. You're gonna miss those fall colors. I would find elsewhere to find them. I don't wanna say unprecedented, but kind of a historic moment where the uh, entire parkway is closed. Certainly, I'm looking forward to getting on it once it opens back up, if I can get up that way. What are some of your favorite memories of the Blue Ridge Parkway, riding in that area, and then thoughts that you may have on uh, where you wanna go once everything uh, in the Appalachian Mountains clears up, where you wanna go up there, and uh, what your next ride is in that area that you're hoping to ride. Anyhow, thanks for watching. These are my thoughts. We'll catch you later.